Energetics was one of the independent distribution network operators introduced to the electricity market in October 2001. The idea was to promote competition, but Energetics chief executive Bill McClymont says the system is seriously biased against the newcomers and it's about time Ofgem redressed the balance. This is the pathway of power, and Energetics is the company that's taking electricity the final mile, plugging in new homes and businesses across the UK, bringing power to the people. Energetics is one of four newly introduced independent distribution network operators in the UK. It is, in effect, the final link in the chain of electricity supply, hooking up new homes and new businesses to the electricity network. But Energetics believes the market it's been allowed into is fundamentally weighed against them. Unbalanced, uncompetitive and just plain unfair. So what's the problem? When Energetics brings electricity from the network to the consumer, it charges electricity suppliers for using its network. But to protect consumers, Ofgem regulates that price. Energetics, though, then has to pay the old established network operators, or DNOs, for the use of their network further up the line. And here comes the imbalance. Ofgem does not regulate the upstream charges, leaving the DNOs to charge what they see fit. That inequality robs Energetics of its margin. The regulator has to intervene and really what we want to see is energetics. What we have to see is a, a tariff structure uh, and some price controls in place that make sure that we as an IDNO can share some of, these, uh, some of the value that's available from the upstream revenues. Our, our message to Ofgem is, is fairly simple. You're aware of these abuses, uh, you, you know what's happening in the market and you know that it has to be addressed. It really is, the time is now, it must be addressed now to allow competition to flourish. Currently, just 1% of new connections to the system are owned by the new IDNOs. This is in stark contrast to the gas market, where that figure is 70%. At present, Energetics is providing the infrastructure to prestige projects like the giant Media City development in Salford Quays. But unless there's a change, the company believes the outlook is bleak. The market will be left to a monopoly and customers will be robbed of choice. We do believe we're being frozen out to the market. Um, I think the, the tariff structures you know, from the DNOs mean it's very, very difficult for us to you know, cover our costs and in some ways you know, earn a reasonable revenue from asset ownership, which means, again, we can't offer the customers you know, the package that we believe we can offer the customers. It has to happen now because ultimately it's the customer that's losing out and he doesn't actually receive value for money from the industry. Energetic says it's time for change and Ofgem has the power to make it happen.